Game dev is hard, really hard. Anyone who says otherwise either doesn't know any better or is lying to themselves. With that being said, I'm about to make it even harder. Now, I've never made a fully 3D game before. All my other games have been in this sort of 2.5D style, similar to Doom or Duke Nukem. After a while though, making games in that same art style starts to get pretty repetitive, so I decided to give 3D a shot. My first hurdle to overcome was my lack of 3D animation and modeling skills. Something I never admitted about my previous 2.5D art style was that I only really used it to avoid having to animate 3D characters and weapons. Since I have much more experience drawing than modeling, it was a logical path for me to take at the time. I would draw each frame of the animation by hand and then play the images back inside of the game. As you can imagine, transitioning from 2D to 3D animations had its challenges. I also ran into a number of visual bugs and glitches as well. Most of these stemmed from a cross-hatching shader that I made. It's based on a similar shader by this guy, I'll have a link to his video in the description if you want to take a look, but it essentially works by separating the shadows from the rest of the scene, and then using those shadows as a mask for the cross-hatch texture. I also mixed in a half-tone shader as well, using essentially the same method, except I used the highlights as the mask instead. I can then overlay these textures on top of the unshaded image to create the comic book effect. However, this created some weird smearing or ghosting effect to the image whenever I would move the character's weapon. After much trial and error, I found the issue to be with Unreal Engine 5's default anti-aliasing features. To fix the issue, I simply had to switch the anti-aliasing mode for another one. To add some interest to the game, I also decided to put in a few advanced movement mechanics. In the current state, I only implemented a simple wall jump mechanic. It's similar to wall running, except you can only jump off the wall and not run along it. I also plan to add a sliding mechanic as well in the future. After getting more comfortable with 3D modeling and animating, I created my first enemy. It's just a simple soldier holding a pistol, but for my current character modeling skill level, it was the best I could do. All the animations are pretty rough, but they're functional to an extent, and I don't feel that I need to remake them at this point. Well, that's all I have for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.